today we are talking about Scarlet and Violet era only. We're going to talk about sealed singles. What is the market doing for SV right now? We're going to kind of work backwards in time, starting off with Surging Sparks. We're just going to take a look at the booster boxes only for this set real quick. Now, the charts don't really mean anything because it's like pre-sale. Um, and if you guys are looking to pick up um, Surging Sparks boxes, there's probably better places to find them. You don't have to pay this these prices, but but something that is interesting because we're still a ways out, and there's not a ton of sales on here, but the boxes are holding at around 116 dollars, which is interesting. Usually, I mean they've been falling 100 like low hundreds, so we'll see where this ends up. It doesn't mean anything, um, so just keep that in mind. We're just touching on it just for the video, right? Surging sparks, kind of holding up. We still haven't seen all the cards so we'll see we'll see what happens there but stellar crown has been out for a little bit of a minute now and these boxes are holding above a hundred dollars right we'll zoom in a little bit um obviously the price is going down similar to what we're gonna see possibly with surging sparks unless it's like ultra hyped um but we'll see so o holding over a hundred which is good and last sales are actually all 107, 107, 107, 107. So this 102 market price should be 107 actually, which would make this box look a lot better um, than where it's at currently. But uh, investing standpoint, um, a lot of people were saying this set is trash, this set is garbage, they hate it. Um, I, I like the set personally. It's not like the greatest set of all time, obviously, uh, but I like the Terrapagos and I like some of the IRs in the set. And that's all it needs to be investable. Um, collectibles, like collect what you want. Um, invest. The investing side is usually completely different. It's supply and demand. It's it, it doesn't it doesn't always follow the collectability um, one to one. There's always exceptions. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm not saying that any there are rules to any of this, but um, Stellar Crown's doing decent. If it, especially if it stays and holds around 107, like. It's kind of doing this up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? That's what we're seeing on the chart right now. Um, but in three months, it's holding pretty steady around that 107 mark. So um, interesting there, stellar. Obviously, you know, I'm going to have to take a look at the Tropagos chase card from the set. I think this card is absolutely stunning. I think the Pokemon is cool from the anime. If you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. Check it out. Um, yeah, if not, no worries. But kind of the same thing we're seeing here where this is holding around $112 um, obviously steady decline right when it just came out it went 150 and it's all the way down to 112 um, but yeah last sale is 112 113 110 120 so around that 112 range but we're seeing some higher so um, once again too early to tell anything from this uh, and obviously the charts don't look good because pre-release prices were crazy but if uh, if the set can hold a hundred dollar chase card, that'd be great for the set. Um, will it? That is that remains to be seen. So uh, we we need some more time on this set, but I just wanted to touch on it while we're here. And then I wanted to touch on something from Shrouded Fable that's actually doing something on the upside. Shrouded Fable. Um, this is the Greninja box. It's not really a surprise why this box is going up. It's kind of I don't know, maybe one of, you could say the best product for Shrouded of 4% past three months and in the last month, 12% alone. So uh, starting to get some, some decent, um, decent movement there. And last sale right here, 42. So if this market price goes up to 42, that's a, that's a big jump. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind there um, that could be interesting we'll have to see uh, where this kind of ends up um, we'll take a look at the pheasantipity it's kind of the earthen vessel and they're just anyways there's it's not really looking too good for singles but uh, down 7% in the last month and same thing it's a little too early to tell long term but this was going as high as 90 and now it's in that 56 range so um, shrouded Shrouded doing Shrouded, unfortunately. But then we have Twilight Masquerade. 
$143 a box. Most recent sale at 144. So we saw this run up, it came down, come back up, and it's really holding steady currently around that price. 5% in the last month alone. Um, it's holding over the high pre-release prices. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, last sale 144. We got a few 144 sales. So um, if this that's a little bit more percentage for this box. Still crazy, honestly. Still surprised, but there's always uh, surprises. In there's always sets that surprise. And this is just that set currently, and we'll see how this pans out like long term. But for now, it is what it is. Then we have the Greninja, which it's a little bit of a. It's still up 15% past three months but finally seeing a little seeing a little bit of a downturn currently almost five percent in the last month alone and on the one year still a big big gain 72 percent so it, it's high was around 300 however most recent sale was 299 so we'll see where this this could creep back up if this creeps back up to say oh there was a there was a over 300 sale okay if this creeps back into the $300 range, that could be very interesting, but extremely difficult card to pull. Popular Pokemon um, art's cool, so uh, phew, Greninja, man. Then we have some 151. Take a quick look-see at. Um, this is the regular ETB. Up 24% almost in the past three months, and a lot in the past month, 16%. Ran up to 87 and it came down a little. It's around $84. We'll check out last solds here. 84, 88, 85, 88. So, boom. Well, down here we had some at 92 and 90. So, um, yeah. This is interesting. We'll see. Uh, we need some more of these on the market. This These prices are getting pretty high. Uh, 151 can be hard to come by. Some people are saying they're seeing it. Um, like vending machines, I've heard. Um, some people are saying on the Discord. So... Um, that was a little while ago, though, so I don't know how up-to-date that is, because I have been in Japan for a week and a half, so. Um, and then we have, this is just the Pokemon Center, 41%. Just had to touch on that in the last three months. And 21% in the last month alone, uh, 173. However, most recent sale, 185. We had sales back here, 185 and 199, $200, possibly, for this Pokemon Center. That's wild. Then we have the Venusaur. Now, uh, I didn't pick the Charizard or the Blastoise because this card just had a little bit more movement on it. 12% um, in the past three months alone and almost 20% in the past month. And this is what I find very interesting. It just touched its one-year high, $49. So that's it, it dipped down all the way. I mean, it was in the 30s. Now it's up around 50. Um, recent sales... Or this looks like this might be coming down a little though. Um, 45, 45, 43, 43. So um, this is probably coming down, but interesting numbers there. Then we have Paradox Rift. Um, by the way, does it ever bother you guys when TCG Player has like this small of a picture on here? Anyways, bothers me. I don't know why. I want it to match uh, the other ones. But Paradox is not really, you know, I, I like this set a lot. And it's just not really doing a whole lot. The market doesn't like it, apparently. Um, so uh, down 3% in the past three months, but it's a tiny bit of a bounce back. Um, it went sub $100, $99. So that's interesting. And yeah, its low was 89 It's high of 106 right here. I mean, besides the pre-release stuff. So um, yeah. Paradox Rift, I, I like this set a lot, personally, but, and this is one of the reasons why, the grout on here, um, it's got it's a little 3% up the past three months, and it's kind of down a little bit in the past month, in the past year though, look at these gains, you could have had, you could have had this card at $22 initially, ran up to 40 and then it was as low as $22, as high as 64 holding around that $50 range. Uh, I don't know. This is Japanese, right? Yeah. They got to get these out of here. Um, but interesting as well. You got 62 and 60 here. So 
uh, I think that these are bringing the price down a little bit. So uh, I would this Groudon could be moving up even more. Um, possibly approaching the one-year high. We'll see. Amazing card, amazing Pokemon. Nothing, nothing more to say there. Um, then we have Temporal Forces. Um, holding around $109, $110. Just a little bit up in the three months. and But we're seeing a little bit of a bounce here, right? 5% in the past month alone went from 103 up to 110. So that is interesting. Uh, on the one year, obviously, pre-release prices are high, right? So you can't really count that. Um, what was this dip right here? According to this chart, never dipped below 100. So that's interesting. Um, but last sales around, we got 120, 110, 115. So um, this could be moving up. So um, temporal, interesting set. Not my favorite. I don't like these versions of the Pokemon too much personally. I think they're cool, but uh, they're just not really for me per se. Like this guy. Saw some uh, plushies of this guy at the Pokemon Center in Shibuya. Um, anyways, did not pick one up. Um, but down 15% on the Raging Bolt in the past three months. The one month chart shows 10% down, so this this card's kind of kind of ticking down. Um, came out the gate at 52, ran up to 76, down all the way up to sub 50, ran up to almost 100, like 100. And now it's down around 70 dollars. Um, some of these sets, I feel like they're getting forgotten about a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see what this time does. It's been quite a few months now, um, but this card's still performing well overall. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what where these pan out. We need years under the belt, right? A year plus to start really getting engaged. Um, we have Paldean Fates. Um, I chose the tin for the sealed product on this one, uh, the Charizard tin, because it's having a little bit of a movement. Um, 37 up to in the 40s now, so almost 8% and 5% in the last month alone. Then if we zoom out, obviously, once again, this, these early sales, you can't, I mean, they're all over the place. This, but this went for as low as, yeah, 35. Um, last solds, looks like this might be coming down just a tiny bit, 41, 41, $42 range. Um, picked up a few of these at Walmart. I believe I had opened them on the channel. So that should be there if you want to go back and take a look at those. Then we have the uh, the Charizard, the Rizadan, um, down 13% past three months. Um, looks like it's getting hit a little hard. This card was doing well for a while, and 8% in the past month alone. We'll zoom out to the one year, get a better picture. 184, it popped off, and then it came down. Yeah, I remember 103, and yeah, so this is at its all-time low around this price um we'll see last holds though 107 107 105 so yeah this I, I i like this card personally um i for like collecting wise i'm not super invested in this card or anything like that um but i do like the artwork and style of this card super cool um and a fun set to open so yeah the the charizard there um yeah once again it's hard to compare when you got, oh, well, it came out the gate and sold at 184 because that, that's not fair, kind of. So if we ignore that, it had most sales around $109. So interesting there. Um, then we have Paldea. So we had the, the Paldea drop right here, right? It was up 143, went down all the way to 133. Now we're back up in the 140s um, with the reprint talk and stuff, but... All last solds are pretty much around 144, so this should be uh, market price should be a little bit higher currently. I'll take a look at the Magic Carp. Uh, it's fallen. It's falling. 17% in the past three months. Um, this is, doesn't really surprise me. Um, I was surprised that this card held the price it did for so long. I could. I, I love this card, by the way. Um, I could see this, you know, dipping below 100, um, down 6% in the past month. But crazy gains up 88%. Could have had this card in the 50s. Ran up to as high as 150. I could see this card settling. I, once again, it's impossible to know. Nobody can actually know. But I could see this being a 85, 90 dollar card, 80s somewhere in there. 
Um, but, but, most recent sale, 123. So, it doesn't mean it's going to do that. But I, could, I, see a, I see a world in which this is under 100. Um, Magikarp, right? <laughs> um, then we have some SV base. SV base getting hit. But, bouncing back a little bit, up 2% past three months and 3.6 percent in the past month alone we had a bunch of sales right here the most in the last month um at the 91 dollar range kind of can't really go wrong long term with this set and if you're getting it in the 90s but this is wild i don't know who was unloading this at 73 dollars and 78 if you were getting in there you're still doing pretty decent but uh last sold around 95 there's one around 104 like i don't understand what's going on with that but scarlet and violet base um you know the base sets usually don't perform very well, and there was a lot of these available, so print run, but um, the Gardevoir, which I think is a stunning card in person, uh, I think it's really cool. It's not really any valuable cards. $27, um, down 4% in the past three months, um, up a little bit in the past month. Overall, um, overall, it is seeing a gain of 22%. Had a little run-up right here, went to 34, and now it's down in the 20s, so... Um, yeah, twenty-six dollar sale. So uh, a little bit unfortunate. I do, I do like Scarlet and Violet base. Um, a great, amazing artwork for a base set. Honestly, uh, pull rates were a little too easy though in print run. So it's kind of why why these cards are just widely available. Um, Obsidian Flames. Okay, this is kind of everyone's surprise. Well, not everyone's surprised, but a little bit of a surprise to most. Uh, a lot of people didn't like this set as well. The Charizard Fatigue, right? Not the most popular set, but Sealed, doing decent. 10% in the past three months, and 2% in the past month alone. We'll zoom out to the one year. 17%, right? You could have these boxes in the 90s. And now we're in the... And check this out. The last sold 120, 117. So uh, we could see this continuing to move. Sealed... Sealed is sealed, so this is where, what I was talking about. Sealed uh, doesn't necessarily correlate to the singles always. This is the most valuable single, although this is on the uptick. Uh, I do like this card. Once again, I said that, uh, we talked about this before, um, that it was too cheap for an SIR, in my opinion, and we're seeing some price increases, up 10% in the past three months. Um, this was as low as 40 in the past month alone, up 5%. We'll zoom out to the one year. So, still... Technically, uh, on the downturn, it was as high as 66 and as low as 39. Uh, but starting to see that climb back up um, for the Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. This was just a little Scarlet and Violet only market update. I am batch recording a few videos because I'm going to be traveling. So if some of the information is off by the time you're seeing this, because this will come out two days after recording... I do apologize, um, but I just got back from Japan. I'm extremely jet lagged. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know when I'm gonna get more of my Japan videos out, um, but those will be coming uh, eventually. So yeah, I have to travel for a few days again. It's wild. Um, under 24 hours home, then on a plane across the country. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, the jet lag is killing me right now. I wanna sleep, but um, that'll do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.